Today I'm making hot cross buns. Okay, I put a half a cup of warm water, lukewarm, in a bowl. I'll dissolve, I'm going to dissolve two packages of yeast. I'm making 16 hot cross buns. I have three quarters of a cup of milk. And I'm going to add a half a cup of vegetable oil. Plus a third cup of sugar. Measuring two and a half cups of flour. To start off with. And I'm going to stir in a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, so I'm just going to stir this together. Okay, now I'm going to put my dissolved yeast in the mixing bowl. I mean, two and a half cups of flour. I'm going to beat this together thoroughly. Okay, now that the mixture has been beaten very well, where the eggs have been beaten into the uh, two and a half cups of flour mixture, I'm going to remove my uh, whisk. And if you don't have a dough hook, which I'm going to use next, you can just take your bowl and use a wooden spoon to stir in the raisins, the lemon peel, and the rest of the uh, flour. So I have the uh, grated peel of one large lemon, which is approximately two te teaspoons of grated lemon rind. Put that in, and I'm going to put a cup of raisins. I've used some golden and some dark. Now I'm going to add the remaining cup and a half of flour. The total amount of flour is four cups. Okay, I'm going to remove the dough from this bowl and just put it on a lightly count, uh, floured countertop. I'm just going to give it a few turns to get it into a nice ball. Just handle it very lightly because it is a sticky dough. Now I'm going to put it into the grease bowl. Give it a turn so we'll get some. Okay, now I'm going to put the dough aside to rise in a warm spot. Which I like to put it on a pot that has like, some hot water on the bottom and just let it sit there with a warm, damp cloth on top. And let it rise for an hour and a half. The dough is risen for an hour and a half. Now I'm just gonna put it out on the countertop. Okay, I'm gonna divide the dough into 16 pieces. First, I punched it down. And I let it sit for about five minutes before I divide it. We're going to be dividing it into 16 pieces. Cookie sheet. 
I'm going to put all 16 on this one pan because they'll be close. They'll end up touching when they bake. I'm going to shape each one and put them on the greased uh, cookie sheet to rise for about 40 minutes. And with the remaining egg white, I'm going to make the uh, frosting for the glaze. Remaining egg white. And about a teaspoon of milk. A sprinkle of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon, and warm. I'm just going to break it apart. You can put a little butter on if you like or just have it like that. 